Sega. Greetings, lords and ladies, and welcome to our first episode of The War Council, where we tell you all you need to know about battles in Total War Battles Kingdom. Today, we'll give you an introduction to your army and general battle mechanics. Battles come in various forms in the game. For example, you can fight missions all across England. They come in different difficulties based on your army's strength and bring you good rewards in form of silver and unit experience. If you prefer a greater challenge and a longer story, you can play battle quests. These are a series of battles following a storyline and provide higher rewards than missions, but beware, they can get pretty tough as you progress. Every now and then, pesky invaders will enter your realm and attempt to raid your coffers. You can either pay them a tribute, but where's the fun in that? Or you can face them in battle and show them who's the boss. If you prefer to test your skills against human opponents, you can play duels. Ranked duels yield high experience rewards and every win counts towards improving your rank and potentially making it onto the leaderboard. At the end of every chronicle, a champion is crowned and awarded a chest of gold. Last but not least, you can go head to head with one of your friends to find out who really is the better general. You manage your troops in the army setup window. As with your buildings, your army grows and becomes more powerful the higher your lord level and the more sophisticated your realm. At the beginning you can field 5 units, but as you level up, you will be able to increase this number to 9. At the very beginning of the game, you have to rely on levy troops and hunters as your backbone army. They are stationed in your castle and thus don't require any additional recruitment buildings. Soon after the beginning, you will want to invest in military buildings. Barracks host your standard melee infantry units, wielding swords, spears, maces and axes. In an archery range, you can recruit longbow and composite bow archers, javelin throwers and crossbowmen. In the workshop, you can build artillery like ballistas, mangonels and the devastating trebuchet. In the stables, you can build light, medium and heavy cavalry, ready to charge down the enemy. Finally, in the Knight's Manor, you can unlock the best of the best. Longsword, Greatsword and Great Axe Knights, sworn to protect your realm at all costs. In battles, your army is divided into three rows and three lanes, adding up to nine unit slots. If you or your opponent have access to reinforcements, they will only appear once there is at least one slot empty after a unit has perished. At the beginning of the battle, you can pick out targets for your missile troops, move around units to adjust for the enemy setup, issue orders or use unit skills. Shortly after, the armies will start advancing, followed by a charge of the front line. Depending on your timing, you can increase or decrease the impact of your charge. Once the melee battle unfolds, you have ample opportunity to buff your troops using their unique skills or one of your orders, which recharge over time. We'll talk more about them in the next episode. If you defeat the enemy unit, but there is another one waiting in the same lane, you will have to prepare for another charge and vice versa. However, if you wipe out a unit with a single charge, your charge carries on and you will attack the following unit straight away. Beware when attacking enemies in melee combat with ranged attacks, as your units could suffer friendly fire. This is especially dangerous when using the mangonel or trebuchet artillery. At the end of a successful battle, you will be awarded experience and other rewards. Your first two completed battles each day, your triple and double unit experience respectively. Unit experience can be used to improve a unit's stats, like melee attack, armor, ranged attack and charge damage. To unlock or upgrade their special skill, or to rank up the unit, given that you have upgraded the building it's stationed in beforehand. Additionally, you can equip your unit with better armor, weapons or medals with various effects. You can either craft these or purchase them with gold. And that's it for our introduction to basic battle gameplay. Be sure to check the King's Council video series if you're interested in the realm side of things and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. See you in the next episode for more about orders.